Hey guys, it's Fallen Lorelei. A lot of you have been asking about an interior parallaxing tutorial, so I thought I'd go ahead and try that out today. Um, I'm going to make an item shop similar to this one. This is something I made uh, two hours ago. It took me about an hour uh, just to see how I could do it for you guys. Um, you've also been asking about shadows and lights. I'm not too great at adding shadows and lights. Um, I'm not really that artistic. I'm not fluent at understanding where light is supposed to go. But if you're really artistic, um, I'll go ahead and show you my technique for doing it, and then you can go ahead and add your own flair. Okay? I will be going a little bit faster in this tutorial. It's actually just going to be like a think aloud kind of session. Um, so go ahead and watch my other parallaxing tutorial if you ever get lost, but I should still be a little bit slow. The plugins I'm going to use are the bind pictures to map, the region restrictions, and orange map shot. Okay? Alright, so let's get started. I already made my basic skeleton here, this little shop. Um, this is, again, something I made earlier. I don't really like how symmetrical it is, so I went ahead and made something like this. Um, so when you can, go ahead and make the skeleton, and let's get a map shot of it. So with your map shot plugin, um, your key code is by default a 44, which is print screen. So you're going to play. <laughs> Alright, and here's my basic map. I'm going to press print screen and it's supposedly going to have taken that map shot. So I can close out and I'm going to go into my Photoshop. And in Photoshop I already have open all of the, the tile sets I'm going to be using which happen to be Inside C or SF Inside C, SF Inside B, Inside C, Dungeon C, and Dungeon B. Okay? So I'm going to open my map shot. Um, where it is depends on um, where your game folder is. I went ahead and made a shortcut to it because it takes a while to get there. Um, and you can see up here where it is if you have the Steam version. All right? But it's going to be in this folder and WJS win map shots. Okay? Uh, so here it is, item shop tutorial. Open that up. Move it out into its own window onto the side here. All right. If you don't have your grid up, get your grid, view extras or show grid. Uh, 48 by 48, remember. Okay? So, let's get started. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm kind of running off the script here, especially since this is a totally new layout that I have. So, fingers crossed it's going to be okay. First thing I'm going to do is something that's totally optional, but something I like to do um, is kind of recolor all of this. So, go ahead and make a new layer, Control shift n and we're going to... Uh, use our polygon tool to outline the edges of our of our little room here. And I'll show you where I'm going with this. Okay? And if snap isn't on, turn snap on, it makes it a lot easier to do that. Uh, with this highlighted, what we can do is fill it in with a color. And I'm going to fill it in with a pinkish color. Um, maybe a little more gray than that because it's going to be a magical item shop. It's going to be pink and purple and blue. All right? And I'm going to change this layer. Let me move this over so you can see. I'm going to change this layer to like a soft light and turn it down a bit. All right. And I'm also going to add a gradient to it. Um, what you can do is open your uh, gradient overlay and change the gradient off to the side. We've got color harmonies 1 and 2. Let's open 2 and see what we have here. This one looks cool. This one will look nice. And I have it at radial, but I'm going to change it to linear. And what it's doing is it's adding a very subtle effect to our map, the colors on our map. And maybe even overlay. That looks really cool. But turn it down so it's not so exaggerated. There. And you can't even really tell much of a difference, um, but when you compare, they look slightly different, and I like it. Okay, and before I go on, I'm going to make a folder for these bottom things here. 
So a group, not a folder, a group. And I'm going to just call this bottom. And I'm going to move my guys into there. Alright, so we're good. Um, last time when I made the map earlier today, I added the windows last, which was a mistake. So I'm going to go ahead and add my windows right now, uh, which are in, where are they? Inside B, right? And the windows that I want, um, this would look really cool, the, the antique here, but I'm just going to pick this regular window. All right, and remember, you highlight it with your marquee and then press V to just drag it over, okay? And make sure it's in bottom. And I'm going to put one there. I'm going to control J. Bring one here and control J. To bring one there. Okay, that looks nice. It is symmetrical, but I kind of like it. Okay, now what I want to do is close up bottom and we're going to add uh, bookcases to the back here. So we have these bookcases in inside B, but I also really like the bookcases that are in SF inside B, these ones here. So go ahead and grab your Marquee tool and let's drag some over. Let's take this one. Okay, and put one there. Let's make a folder for these. Call them, um, bookcases is fine. We're going to put other things inside this bookcases folder, but this is good. Alright, so we've got that one. Let's grab this one. There. And this closed one behind the counter. It's a secret one. Uh, there's another one that I like. This one. It's not wood, um, but I, li I like how it looks. So I'm going to put it there. Nope, not in front of the window. <laughs> I'll put it here. Mm, actually, I don't know if I'm going to use this one this time. In my other map, I had uh, plenty of wall space, but in this one, not so much. So I'm going to get rid of that. I lied. I'm not going to use that. But I am going to use one of these. Uh, lots of potions here for our magical item shop. There. That looks good. And any other ones? This one. Here. Alright, all the bookcases. Alright, so we can see that these are all different colors and it doesn't really look that good. So I'm going to show you a trick uh, to change these colors. Now to do that, we're going to close our bookcases folder. We're going to make a new layer on top, Control shift n Okay, and what we're going to do is right click and go to create clipping mask. Alright, and this is going to make a mask on top of all of these bookcases and I'll show you what I mean. Grab whatever color that you want for these bookcases to have. I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, the color that these already are, just because I like them. And get your brush tool, okay? It doesn't matter what size right now. Actually, it kind of matters. Let's make it a little smaller. I'm at 40. 40 looks fine. All right, and opacity 100. And if you color directly on top of these bookcases, it's only coloring the bookcases because of our clipping mask. So go ahead and start coloring on top. Um, don't color the inside. We want those. And actually, we don't need to color these guys. So I'm going to erase. We don't need to color these because they're already that color. Okay, and then make it smaller. Smaller brush to fill in these edges here. And then it's going to be even smaller to get in there. Turn off snap because it's going to mess you up. There we go. And it's okay if it's messy because it's not going to look like this, actually. Alright. And then this one. And that looks good. Here, right here. How's that? Alright. And with that done, go to your new layer here and change it to either hue or color. Let's try color. Oh, look, that looks perfect. Ta-da, now we have matching bookcases. What would have happened if we clicked hue? Ugh, yeah, no. Let's go to color. Okay. So 100%. Looks good. All right. Now we want some more 
things that are going to go on this wall. Um, in this map, I have these barrels and these pots. So let's go ahead and do that. First, the barrels. We'll put some barrels here in front of the window. So I've got a big one. I'm going to control J, make it a little one. And you know what I forgot to do? Yeah, I control T, by the way, to make this smaller. What I forgot to do is make a folder for these guys. So we could have moved them into bookcases, but I'm going to go ahead and just call them wall things. And just drag them into wall things. All right. And let's add a pot. And what I'm doing here is I'm clumping. People call it clumping. Ugh, there we go. And always take into consideration your grid lines. Remember where your character can walk and where they cannot walk. Okay? So I do not want my pot here for example, because you could see that my character is going to be walking through here, and if I brought it down a little bit, they would be walking like right through this pot, unless I stopped them walking, but that wouldn't look, that would look pretty bad. So put it here, it can go down a little bit, so their head is over it, but right there is fine. Okay, what else do I want? I want these guys. <coughs> And I'm going to put them in front of the counter here. Let's get two. One's a little smaller. And one's going to be open. I could always just copy that one, but I'll just bring this one over. And I want it to be behind that, so I'll do that. And nudge with my arrow keys. Okay, that looks good. Um, what I did in this map was I recolored the tops, so again what we're going to do is close this folder, make a new layer on top of the folder, and create clipping mask. Zoom in, we're going to change the pot colors to uh, purple is fine, right? I was purple before. And just color it in. Just like that. It doesn't have to be too perfect because no one's going to really notice if you mess up. Unless you tell them that you've messed up, then they'll notice. And they'll give you a bad review. You don't want that. Alright, I'm being a little bit too careful. I don't need to be too careful. And I'll change it to soft light. I'll change it to color, I guess. That should be fine. Now oh, they're both purple. You can keep them both purple. I don't know why I kept them both purple. I'm going to make one blue. And I'm going to go ahead and make my brush a little bit bigger. So that I'm not wasting so much time trying to be perfect. And if you mess up, grab your eraser tool. Whoa, way too small. And just erase around it. There, now it's blue and pink. That looks fine. Looks kind of cool, actually. No, no it doesn't. <laughs> I lied. Let me erase that and then fix it here. There we go. That's much better. Okay. So we have our colorful pots. What else do we want? Uh, in this map, I added these, um, what are they, bags of flour. But they kind of look like bags of of magical sand. So let's put some magical sand here. Let's put one in front of our thing here, our armoire, and let's color, bring it into wall things, into wall things, and then color it, blue is fine. You kind of want a color that's going to make this um, gold clash, uh, clash is that the right word? Make it stand out a little bit more. So blue or purple, maybe even red, and erase when you've made a mistake. That's probably fine. There, I have a blue bag here. That looks kind of cool. Hmm, what else could we add to our to our floors here? I'm not filling in the counters yet, just the floors. I like to stay one step at a time lest I get lost <laughs> and I forget something. Uh, let's add some wall decoration. 
This lady, um, or man, whoever owns this item shop, he's going to have these swords up on his wall. <coughs> they can be magic swords. How's that? Okay, and this one. And again, they're not going in my folder. I would like them to stay in my folder. It's just a lot easier when they're in folders for later. Let's see. He needs to know what time it is. Put that here. I'll always know what time it is. Mm. And then there's photos here. We can add a photo of this castle. Let's put that here. And we're going to make it different from the default. This time we're going to add a new layer directly on top of this layer, not the folder. So Control Shift N and create clipping mask. And let's make this. Let's just keep up with the color theme we have. So pinks and purples and blues. I'm going to grab this pink and see how this looks. Just going to color on top of this poor castle picture. Try not to get the frame because the frame should probably stay whatever color it is. Alright, that's fine. And hue. Let's get rid of that. Get off my frame. This was a very expensive frame. All right, and then take it down a bit. It doesn't have to be a perfect perp or pink. Let's color. Actually, I like hue this time. There, it looks a little different. And if you want, we can also um, do the frame. So Control Shift N, clipping mask, and let's make the frame darker. Let's make it go dark, blackish color. Make our brush smaller. Just color around. And thank goodness for the clipping mask, or this would have been ugly. And then we can erase when we accidentally colored on top of our photo. Like the tops and the bottoms. And then fix when we accidentally erased what we didn't want to. Alright, that's fine. And then soft light. Let's see how it looks from a diff distance. Overlay. That's kind of cool. It's a bit too, too much. Multiply. Multiply is too much. Um. Hmm. Even color. Color looks kind of cool. Maybe I'll leave it. Add an overlay and just turn it down a bit. I don't want it too vibrant. There. That looks fine. And then I'm gonna actually duplicate this layer. Layered duplicate control J right is fine too and then I'm gonna make it colorful or change the color so it's it looks like that there that looks good and if we want what we could do is change our window frames to match the frame of our um, uh, picture here but I'm not gonna do that you could you could go ahead and do that but I'm not going to and look what Lauren did she messed up Hold on, hold on guys. Where was this supposed to go? This was supposed to go up there. Somehow it got moved and that's probably my fault. There we go. Alright, everything's back to normal. We're fine now. <laughs> Let's look for other things to put on our on our walls. And we still have wall things open. Um let's put these things up here, these shelves. Uh, there, we can put a shelf here, maybe we can put it on top of the bookshelf here, you can really do anything, anything that you want, I'm just going to squeeze it in there, I'm going to change the size a bit, not too much, there we go, and I'm going to bring in these books. Hmm. I spaced out my wall things way too much. Let me push them together. So this one, oops, wrong one. I'm going to move over. Then I'm going to move over my painting. Whenever you move um, something that you put a clipping mask on, make sure you clip or you select all of the 
layers, okay, with shift, hold down shift, and that way when you move them, you're moving all of them together. There, that looks better. And we can put our bookshelf here. Or, no, this is fine. I'm not going to waste time changing my mind halfway through. Alright, that looks fine. Let's add one more thing to the wall. Um, this picture here. And then I'm going to move these guys around again. Where's, here it is. There. And then this picture can say something like, do not touch, or if you need assistance, please ask the front counter, something like that. Alright, that looks kind of cool, I like it. What else can we add? We don't have that much wall space. We could put some more things in front of the counter, but we don't want it to be too cluttered. We could put things here. Let's grab some barrels. Let's grab this barrel. And we're going to put it here. And this one, I'm not going to put in wall things. I'm going to bring it up. Because um, this, uh, if it's going to go here, it might end up being an overlay layer. So I'm just going to call it floor things. How's that? Floor things. Okay. And I'm going to erase this bottom part. Turn on snap so it's easier to do that. There. What else do I want over there? Um. Hmm. A broken barrel. No, I'm not going to do that to them. This is a very fancy establishment. They would not have broken barrels. Bring this down. That looks fine. Um, it looks the same as that, so I can go ahead and change the size just to make it look a little bit different. Oh, that's fine. I smushed in a bit, but that's fine. What else? Let's look at what I made here. Um, I didn't really do that much, did I? I have these big boxes. I could put a big box somewhere. Uh, let's put one here, a little bit in front of the counter. And what I did in the last map was I added um, these, where are they? Dungeon B, that's it. These uh, purple, uh, what are they, like gross things mold and growing out of this barrel. You don't know what's inside this barrel, so it's like magical swirls coming out of it. I thought that looked kind of cool. Alright, that looks fine. Uh, and if we ever want to add more things, uh, like I'm going to put some stuff in front of this barrel, but you don't want to add too many things because then it looks a little bit repetitive and I don't want it to look repetitive. I'm going to add another one of these um, magic sand bags, but I'm going to make it smaller. Mm. Zoom in if you ever want to be a little bit more precise. That looks fine. And I'm going to add a color to it. It's not going to be blue. It's going to be purple. Okay. There we go. And then hue. There, I like it. That looks good. All right. Anything else? Do I want to add anything else here? Um, I like plants. Uh, plants totally optional, but I I'm a fan of plants. <laughs> I think they're in yeah SF inside C. And I'm gonna grab. Hmm, which one? I like this one. This plant. I'm gonna put it so it's like there. I'm gonna erase. And erase. And then I'm going to put the same plant oops, where. I don't want it to be. I'll put it here. Mm, bring it down a bit. Anywhere else? I kind of want to color these plants so they're not green. 
but I'm not sure what color I want them to be. Oops. Bring a layer over floor things. Create clipping mask. Let's make these plants. Let's see how purple looks, but not this purple. Maybe a more pinkish purple. And I'm going to color it in, make it a little bigger. Not too big, because now I'm going to end up coloring. Yeah, that looks fine. And then over here. And hue. How's purple look? Oh my gosh, that looks crazy. I don't know if I like it. Actually, it's not terrible. You could add some lore about these purple plants. What do they mean? Maybe she uses them to make alchemical potions. That's fine. We're fine. It's fine. We'll keep it purple. I, I kind of like it in a crazy kind of way. Alright, I think we're done with the uh, peripherals of our of our place here. We can add some more things later, uh, but for right now, this is fine. We don't want it to be too cluttered. So let us add mm, stuff to our counters. Let's start with this counter uh, in front of the door here. Let's add the little things. So most of the stuff in inside C we can add here. Let me move it over so we can see. Uh, and like just magical things. So let's bring over these magical scrolls. Oh, we wanna we wanna group first. Uh, counter things. Bring it in there. Close up floor things. Okay, counter things. And I'm gonna get rid of the grid. I'm gonna show not show extras anymore because this way I can put things on the counters without caring about um, the f 48 by 48. What else? I want some some of these. And what I'm doing now is I'm just bringing stuff over. I don't really care too much about where I place them because I'm going to move them around later. I'm going to move this guy over. I'm going to move this guy over. All these like magical things. And what else is kind of magical? You can have a doll. In this one, I have a doll. Um, it's like a cursed doll or something. <laughs> I'm not going to do that this time. I thought that was kind of dumb. What else? We could put these things. Let's put this up there. And if you want it to go behind this, what we could go ahead and do is just drag this entire counter behind, yeah, behind floor things. Oops. We can put that here. And what else? We can have a magical necklace that's here for some reason. And let's look at other tile sets. Anything here we can put on? I'm going to use these later, these hieroglyphic things. I'm going to use those later. Uh, I had the idea of like bringing over these diamond things and just using them as decoration. Um, but I don't know if that kind of threw people off. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So just like a diamond collection or something, a bunch of rocks. And also like these red things, but uh, we don't have to do that. Anything else we can put on our counter here? We can put gold. We're going to use the gold later for our person. Anything in here? Uh, later, there's some things that I'll use later. Okay, this is fine. All right, let's zoom in and change some things around. So I kind of like the necklace to be by this thing and the jewels. I wonder if we could put them underneath the necklace so it kind of looks like that. As for these potions, don't want them too close together. So I might do that. I'm going to move this to the back. Whoops. Without it look, looking silly. And I'm going to make a duplicate of this. And I'm going to make it smaller. 
move it over here, and I'm going to change its color. So I'm going to make a new layer on top, just like before, create clipping mask, and I'm going to make, uh, I guess, purple. I already have it. I already have this color, so I'll make it purple, and just color in the middle. Now you want to keep the edges bluish, because that uh, shows where the glass is. So kind of like that. That looks good. And this red one, we can do the same thing. We can keep that one red. We'll resize this one. Ah, uh, no, we'll resize this one. Oops. Okay. And we're going to make this one. Mm, green. Cover up the red. There. That looks cool. Alright. How's that look? It's a little cluttered. I don't know if I like the necklace on top of those diamonds like that. Let me see. Maybe if I do something like that and move the necklace over. Hmm. Cause it looks like I didn't even I didn't even care. But I do care. I do care. Let's just move everything over. So you move over a bit. Move over a bit. Actually I'm gonna move you underneath. So we can do that. Um move over Remember again, if you recolored something, to bring over both layers. There's that. This one, and then I'll bring over this necklace. There, that looks good. And um, don't we have other jewelry we can use? There's this one. Mm, make it smaller. And I'll flip it. Well, not that way, I'll flip it this way. Oh my gosh, so difficult. <laughs> okay, and I'll move this over again. There, how's that? When you flip something, or rotate it, you have to keep in mind where the shadows are, so that actually looks a little weird. I'll change it to that. We could always change the shadows in each of these items, but that takes a long time. Let me move this over. I wonder how it would look up here. And then bring the green one. I know, I'm wasting your time changing everything. But that's kind of how it is. You just move things around until suddenly something looks okay. <laughs> Let's put this guy in front of these. And I'm going to make it smaller. There, that's fine. Let me move this over again. <laughs> I'm never satisfied. Alright, that'll do. These diamonds over, make them smaller. I like it. Okay, I'm gonna leave it alone. It's fine. No, it's not fine. Oh my gosh, you guys. I shouldn't have done this. I should not have made this video. I'm never gonna be satisfied. Move these over. Those new diamonds that I put in, I need to move these somewhere. Or no, I don't have to move them. I can just erase that one. I don't like this one. There we go. Oh my god, that's better. Okay. This counter is fine. Leave this counter alone. It's okay. <laughs> Alright, let's work with this counter. Uh, what I kind of want to do here is to make it a, sort of a research station, is what I did here. Uh, and I'll tell you what I mean. So th in Dungeon C, we have these crazy cool hieroglyphic-y things. Um, this one, this one, this one. So I'm going to grab this one over gonna put it in the middle. Alright, and I'm gonna make it seem like whoever works here is kind of studying these. Ah, 
So what I want to do is grab all the paper that I have. I have this paper and I have uh, paper in Inside C. I really like this paper. Put it here, I guess. And some books. Nope. Uh, I have this book. And then what we can do is um, duplicate it, bring it over, and then like make it smaller. It's like a tiny book here. And an open book, like they're reading. I'm going to actually put that here and move this book over like there. We can have things like on top of these papers. So I'm going to duplicate these papers bring them over. I'm going to put them underneath like that. And yeah. That's good. Uh what else do we want? Uh a map. Let's put this map here. And we can probably rotate it a little bit without it looking too weird. Yeah, that's fine. All right. What else? What did I put here? I have these scrolls. Everything else is the same though. Um, I don't want it to be too, too, too. Maybe, mm -hmm. let's see. Looking around. This is fine, I think. We can put this book. This is a fine book. Put that here. Mmm, maybe not. What else is over here? Oh, that looks cool. We could have put this in, in our item shop. I don't know if I like that book there. I'm going to get rid of that book. And I'll just move this book down. There. I lied. I'm going to get the sideways book. This one. All right. Whew. Okay, we're done with these two counters. Now let's get this counter. Uh, the story I made for this guy, or this girl, is that she just loves gold, and so she brings all of her um, expensive things up to the front counter so she can keep an eye on them. So let's make this lady or man very, very rich and just bring over all the gold. And not just the gold, but the jewels. Like this. And we already have, you can bring this one over, put that guy here, and in dungeon B, we have these coins here that I like. If we want, we could even put them underneath, so it's like that. And we already use these necklaces, so I'm not going to bring even more necklaces over. But maybe there's something else we can do. Uh, this gold here, actually, I'll use this one. We can put behind her counter. So like there, or even under the window. Like that. Is there anything else? What's in this one? Not much, not much we can use, except for these things, but I don't think I'm going to put them in this map. Oh, you know what I like to do, now that I remembered, is, uh, where is it? Inside B? Yeah, this one here, this table. I like to bring it over and literally just crop out, uh, the pillow with the... I did too much there. I'm getting too excited. I like cropping out the magic ball on its pillow. I know this is the most exciting thing you've seen all day. And you could do a clipping mask, or a mask, sorry, to get rid of this stuff. But I'm just going to be brutal here and like demolish this this poor table. Alright, almost done. Okay. <laughs> and 
And I just like using this thing and bringing it over. And I can even just put it here. And then the lady can use it whenever she wants. Plus it's purple and it matches our, our item shop here. Anything else? We could put a little potted plant in there. Or a flower. How about these flowers here? Put them here. And move the magic ball over a bit. And we can change the color of these f petals, clipping mask. Uh, I'm going to make them pink, pinkish, purpley. Color that in. Hue, color, uh, hue. And let me erase, whoops. There. There, that looks cute. And one more thing is this quill. She's going to be writing something when you come bother her. All right. What do you think? Do you think we're done? Does this look nice? What do I have in here? I found these uh, pedestals uh, in, in one of the dungeon tile sets that I really liked. Where are they? Maybe I'm making this up. They're probably right under my nose. It's right here. Oh my gosh. Um, but I don't know if they fit into this the shop because I could. I'm not sure where I'd put them. I might pass on these pedestals. I could put them here, but ah uh, yeah, I'll pass. So this is probably good enough for this tutorial. Yeah. All right. So we're done. Right? I think we're done. This is fine. Now, let's get started on the shadows. Do I want to make a part two for the shadows? Mm, no, I'll keep this a really long tutorial. <laughs> so let's make a group called Shadow. No, Overlay. Let's call it Overlay. I lied. And make a new layer inside Overlay. And turn on our grid. And... Uh, do the same thing that we did earlier by um, outlining with the polygon lasso, lasso tool the edges here. All right, and fill it with black. Okay. When you're done filling it with black, turn the opacity down to let's say 40 or 30. Let's go with 40. Okay. And then what you're going to do is add a mask to this by clicking this button here. All right, it's add layer mask. And click the layer mask. And with black selected, grab a brush tool. Actually, don't grab a brush tool. <laughs> grab your polygon tool. And what we're going to do is show where the lights are streaming in through these windows. Now, this is where it gets complicated for me because um, I have trouble doing that, especially with these bookcases here. So, I'm going to start the light here. We can always fix it later. And I'm going to go down a bit. And the light's not going here, right? Because there's a bookcase here or an armoire here. But it is going to go like that. Okay? I'll show you what I mean. I'm just going to do this crazy thing here. And like that. Alright. So this is kind of where the light's going to go. Kind of. Fill that in with black. And there's our light. It's uh, crazy right now. We're going to make it a lot softer. It's going to look nicer later. But let's just do the same with this window. Again, there's a bookshelf here. And then there's barrels, but we'll fix that too uh, later. And this one actually goes pretty far. That's fine. Fill that in. And then fill this one in. This one goes really far. Just do that. Uh, and it kind of goes this way too. We'll, f we'll fix it, don't worry, it'll look fine. All right, so here's our light sources. Um, this light is coming in through the window. Grab a brush tool because we're going to make it softer. It's coming in through this window. 
you can even make the if you want to make the curtains light you don't have to and it's just spilling in okay and it's going this way but it's not really hitting this box here all right um, yeah this is fine make a make a larger brush uh, with a soft a hardness of zero so soft edges and then just like lightly feather this by clicking a ton of times. If you want, you can leave it uh, the way it is with a hard edge. Sometimes that looks really good, um, like here. But I mean, if you're an artist, you know what to do. <laughs> Pretty much is my answer there. I'm not an artist. I kind of just figure stuff out uh, until it looks okay. And even then, it it doesn't really look that okay. Um, here, what's happening is. Yeah, that's fine. This is fine. Never mind. Uh, here, I'm going to make it a little softer. But the light's going down here, but it's not going across this bookcase. Same with over here with this light source. Okay, and make that. Like that. And this shadow here is messing everything up should have gotten rid of that shadow at the beginning of the tutorial of the video but whatever learning experiences this is fine I'll make a note to get rid of that all right let's see how's that look and then here just color this in all right hmm yeah, I'm not great at shadows. Don't know why you guys asked me to do this. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, we'll just pretend that this light is kind of crazy and it's going like all the way through to the end here. Like that. Okay? That looks fine. Um, shoot, what was I going to say? Uh, I forgot. Oh well, this is okay. Oh, I remember. Um, here, with this counter here, um, what's happening is the light is coming in through here, and light's coming in through here, but there's going to be a shadow here, all right, because there's no light source here, unless we have a window here, which we might have a window here. Uh, in this tutorial, we're not going to have a window there. <laughs> and so pretty much just erase, all right, uh, this front part, just by a little bit. What we're doing is we're erasing the black that we made in our in our layer here. How's that look? That looks good, right? Because the light's coming in through here and through here. And it's not actually hitting in front of this counter. Alright, so we have our shadows here. Here. It's a bit too... I'm going to make it a little softer. Alright. How's that? That's fine. All right, so we don't really have some crazy shadows going on. And here, I don't have any crazy shadows going on. Um, but if you are more comfortable with shadows than I am, then please go crazy. Um, I like to do this really subtle shadow effect so people don't know that I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but now you know how to do it, right? So if we don't have the shadows it kinda looks like that but I like it with the shadows this is a little hard here I think the light would hit these yeah okay I'm gonna erase here oh, this looks good I like it I think it's I think it's turned out really nice alright let's get this into our game so first thing we wanna do is save it as it is save uh, the PSD all right, first to file save as. Um, I'm in my map shots right now. I'll go ahead and save it in here. So item shop tutorial .psd. Save. Um, never mind. <laughs> I'll save it. Where am I going to save it? In documents, my games, PSDs. Save it here. Okay. Now what we want to do is what we did in my last tutorial is find out where the character is going to be walking um, underneath right 
and highlight those. So my character is going to be walking in through here. Um, he's not going to walk in this square, but he will walk in this square. So I'm going to highlight this plant that he's going under. He's not going under this uh, sand, sand thing, of course, just the, the plant. And over here too, so hold shift when you highlight. Here, everything is fine, everything's fine. Wow, we have no overlay layer, <laughs> pretty much. We have these two uh, plants. Uh, yours might have a lot more overlay. If I added those pillars that I was talking about, we definitely have more overlay. If I put some things here on this wall, which we could have done, um, we would have had overlay. Actually, I did want to show you how to do that, um, to put something here. So what I want to show you is putting a, the semblance of a bookcase here that you don't actually see. Uh, to do that, we're going to go down to bookcases. Okay, um, well, no, uh, yeah, and we're going to highlight this one, okay, and you're going to go to, we're going to hide the shadow layer, the shadow layer, <laughs> and copy merged, okay, and then paste it into your bookcases, and bring it down, like that, and we're going to put it here, I guess, and flip it, maybe. Yeah. And then that kind of looks like there's a bookcase here. And I'm going to duplicate it and bring it over. And so now there's two bookcases. And some people will say the perspective is all wrong. It looks dumb. I like it. It's up to you, right? If you like it or not, um, you can bring these bookcases over. And then I'll bring another bookcase on over here. There. We have these three bookcases. Okay, now back to where we were. <laughs> the overlay layer. Uh, now we have more bookcases to add. So let me re-highlight the uh, plant here. Now these bookcases that we can walk under. Uh, this plant here, and then that was it, right? Yeah. Okay, now hide everything. Uh, all these groups, whoops, not all these groups, bookcases and where is, there it is. So hide bottom and that was pretty much it, right? Go in through here, make sure everything's fine. We're going to end up getting this, but we can edit that out. So go to file, copy merged, go into your overlay and paste it into the overlay. I'm going to hide the shadow for now. And bring it over so it's aligned properly. Okay, get rid of this. There. So there's our overlay. And there we go. So we've got our overlay, we have our bottom layer, and we have our shadow layer. We're going to have three layers this time. So save our bottom. The way it is is fine um, without the shadow. Hide the shadow. All right. Uh, but then go ahead and save this bottom layer. Um, we're going to save it twice and actually we're going to go to export save for web. I'm making so many mistakes. Oh my gosh. Uh, PNG 24 is probably fine. And then yeah, just making sure the quality looks okay. And then save and we're going to put them into pictures first. So I've got item shop tutorial bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to save it again. Oops. Export save for web again, but this time in the two parallaxes. I'm going to call it exclamation point item shop tutorial save. All right. Then I'm going to hide everything. until our overlay here, right? I'm going to save this overlay into pictures, maps, uh, image, pictures, PNG. I should have exported, but whatever. Item, shop, tutorial, top, and then just the shadow. File, export, save for web, save, uh, image, 
uh, pictures. Oh my gosh, my brain right now. Item shop tutorial shadow. Okay. Now let's put all this in our game. I'm going to make a new map. I have this one, but I'm going to go ahead and make a new map. Um, file new uh, item shop tutorial again. Tile set inside. Parallax background is going to be uh, item shop tutorial. Okay. And everything's fine. There we go. Now I'm going to add our event. I'm going to show picture, uh, item shop, tutorial, bottom. <laughs> I'm going to show picture, item shop, tutorial, top. And I'm going to show picture, item shop, tutorial, shadow. Okay. I'm going to put in our plugin command. Oops. Uh, find picture. Oop, you know what I didn't do? You guys, you should have caught me. This is number two. This is number three. Okay. Plugin command. <laughs> Bind picture to map one below characters. Plugin command. Bind picture to to map two above characters. And then find picture to map three top. Okay, so below characters is our bottom, right? Above characters is our overlay, and then um, top is our shadow. Okay, and then I'm going to go to erase event and make this parallel. There we go. Um, a quick note: you don't really have to put in uh, the bottom these two uh, item shop tutorial bottoms because we have it as a parallax background already but on my computer for whatever reason whenever I use uh, anything that is not uh, the spine picture to map thing it ends up being super blurry and it looks awful so I'm using the spine picture to map for all of the layers in my map but if you find that your parallax background uh, through here is totally fine then go ahead and do it that way alright uh, anyway okay and let's put our person in here and see if it worked Fingers crossed. Oh, look, it works. How awesome. How awesome is that? Uh, let's put in our movement with, uh, remember, Yan flies or region restrictions. I have it set to one. So we're walking through here, we're walking there, here. Uh, we're going to walk on top of these bookcases a little bit. Here. Here, mm, sure. You can walk on top of the bookcase there too. How's that? All right, looks good. Well, let's see if it worked. Yay! Look how cool that is. You can't really tell, can you? Okay, yeah, you can tell that the plant is on top of that character. We're walking in front of the bookcases here. It looks a little str strange. Um, but it gets the job done. If you don't like these bookcases, feel free to get rid of them. Um, I like them in some maps. In this map, maybe it didn't work too well. Um, sometimes it looks really nice. I'll show you where it looks nice. Um, but there you go, I think. Uh, please remember to get rid of this shadow here um, on this map by going to shadow and getting rid of that. I should have done that because now look how silly it looks with our light coming in through here. Uh, but learning experiences, right? You know what to do, what not to do. And we're going to put a person in here. Let's do that. Uh, new person. I like uh, the person in, in People 4. This girl, I think she looks cool for a magical item shop. Or you could use an actual like wizard to have this uh, here. This girl, she can be the the alchemist who works here. Uh, yeah. So, I guess I'm done. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I went a little fast, didn't I? But 
Um, that's okay. <laughs> that's all right, right? Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I like answering your questions. I'm not really good at answering um, troubleshooting questions, like if you have problems with the plugins, I don't really know uh, how to fix that. So maybe just contact the developer uh, directly. If you have any other suggestions for me, uh, go ahead and give them. There's so many ways to parallax map, and I really love hearing how other people do it, uh, and also showing how I do it. And if you want to see other scenes, I did make this um, this map. You can't see it. Hold on. Let me put my person in here. My right click doesn't work when I am uh, recording. But I made uh, this map, whoops, I'm like on the wall. It's a modern interior map. I wasn't sure if I liked it or not, um, so I, I haven't made a tutorial for this. But you can see what I mean by the bookcase here and here. It looks good in some maps, so, you know, uh, at your own discretion, right? <laughs> so just, um, I don't know, let me know what you want, and I'll figure it out. Thanks guys. I guess I guess I'm done. <laughs>